Hello everyone. In this session, we will continue the previous session that is starting methods of synchronous motor. Third method is synchronous induction motor method. Synchronous induction motor method. So this is the diagram of synchronous induction motor. Just look at here. Here the speed increases, resistor is cut down and for full load speed the total resistance is eliminated just look at here simply we have the three windings these three windings are interconnected with the three resistors one two three three resistors when the speed increases when the speed increases the resistors resistance applied to the winding is slowly decreases just look at here so resistor is decreases then automatically this will be applied for total resistance total resistance will become zero for which case full load speed simply so that means here the winding here the winding three phase winding i think right in this method with respect to damper windings the rotor is similar to the rotor of slip ring induction motor so here simply nothing but it is approximately equal to the slip ring induction motor in slip ring induction motor also we are putting the uh, starting resistances to the slip ring starting resistance to the slip ring then it will be useful it will be used for that so same at the time of starting we are using the slip rings here and external resistance is connected in series with the damper windings just look at here so here the damper windings are available and this is the damper windings for these damper windings external resistance is also connected right. generally in induction motor if it is in induction motor damper winding purpose is damper winding purpose is to eliminate the hunting to removing the hunting that is the purpose so but here then the motor st torque will be increases that is the starting torque motor torque is increased here right next as speed increases gradually external resistance is cut down and finally reduces to zero the speed is reaches to near the synchronous speed so the same concept is uh, applied here when the speed is increases same concept previous point next when excitation is given then the rotor poles are formed and they pulled into the synchronism so if the excitation then after that then after it will reach into the synchronous speed now same concept we are applying the simply excitation and the motor rotates with the synchronous speed for the purpose of by using the magnetic locking by using the magnetic locking so this magnetic locking is useful for us locking is useful so same phenomena if you look at the any method the simple phenomena of the synchronous motor is magnetic locking magnetic locking means the rotor poles are locked with the stator poles then it will rotates okay so this is about the synchronous motor induction starting method here synchronous starting induction method is related to slip ring induction motor so induction or damper winding method is related to squirrel gauge induction motor starting method next pony motor means we are using the some support of the motor support of the motor okay next next topic we will discuss about the vector diagram of synchronous motor so this is the most important thing vector diagram so we already we have some idea in the idea in the vector diagram of alternator so in both are similar but some 
EMF generated and the terminal voltage we have a small difference between these two points yes so first you know that all of you have an idea synchronous motor is simply phenomena so it will take generally the construction is like this it will take the supply that means a terminal voltage and and it will generate an emf generate the emf with that some drop so finally it's like this vt equal to e plus iajs v plus iajs just look at here so initially we have the terminal voltage vector that is the vt and after load angle del it will generate the emf e so it will generate the emf e okay next so for the terminal voltage it will give the some supply current ia so here the supply current ia will be getting so some phase angle phi some phase angle phi phase angle phi we have the ia it will generate the ia current right and the angle between terminal voltage and the emf generated is the del the angle between terminal voltage and emf generated is the del okay next here just look at here the terminal voltage is nothing but emf generated and the drop the combination of emf generated and the drop so therefore vt equal to e plus iajs e plus iajs that is the thing only here the vt equal to so e is there but iajs we can write like this iajs is nothing but like this so this is a combination of iara plus j into ia xs rjs ia xs ia jds so we can write jds so resistive drop and always always this drop is synchronous reactance drop you can write not jds this is the xs actually synchronous reactance drop always 90 degrees with the resistive drop so that is the thing we are writing here right so generally the terminal voltage is always from the grid always zero degrees and emf at the minus del emf at the minus del okay so here we can write the armature current ia equal to you will write the one formula that is vt minus zero degrees and e at an angle of minus del by zs at an angle of theta zs at an angle of theta so this is the general equation in order to get the armature current this is the general equation from this we can extend the equation is like this so now we will discuss about the power flow equation the continuation part is the power flow equation here simply the power flow equation is the armature current first we will write the armature current that is the vt at an angle of zero and e at an angle of minus del by zs at an angle of theta from this we can write the armature current ia equal to vt by zs so zero minus theta we will get the minus theta and e minus del minus theta minus del minus theta okay so we will convert into the conjugate so that means ia star the angles become negative angle become positive vt by zs then angle of theta next e by so we are missing zs here e by zs and complex conjugate so therefore in this minus will be minus will be removed in here also minus will be removed the final equation is the like this okay but what is the formula of 
power the complex power input complex power input equal s equal to p plus jq p plus jq or v into ia star v into ia star from this we can write the power equal to v at an angle of zero and you know the ia star that is vt by zs at an angle of theta and e by zs at an angle of del plus theta del plus theta from this we can extend the equation is like this that is s equal to here v into v so in the both the cases v is nothing but supply voltage supply voltage is nothing but terminal voltage then it will become v square by zs at an angle of theta here e v by zs at an angle of del plus theta an angle of del plus theta okay right so we can extend again the power into the more and more equations more and more equations okay so this is about the power flow equations then continuation part will be discussed in the next class okay i hope all of you understand the session thank you